Planet Dolan. What breed is considered the bodybuilder of horses? What horse breed adapted to survive temperatures of negative 70 degrees Fahrenheit? From new cross breeds to pure breeds spending thousands of years, there are 15 of the coolest horse breeds in the world. I'm Danger Dolan, and today I will be your narrator. Number 15. The Exmoor Pony is one of the last surviving creatures from Ice Age. That's right, the Exmoor Pony was around during the days of the Woolly Mammoth and Sabretooth Tiger. They survived the Ice Age, but they may not survive humans. After World War II, there are only about 50 left alive in the whole world. During the war, they were used as target practice and for meat. Number 14. What's strange about the Gypsy Vanna isn't anything about how it looks, it's that these colourful horses have existed on the British Isles for centuries, but were only just discovered as a unique breed in 1995, and by Americans no less. Number 13. Chocolate Silver Dapple Pinto is a lot of words to describe one horse, but it all actually means something. Pinto is the actual breed of the horse. Chocolate refers to the coat colour, and Silver Dapple refers to the crazy spotted pattern that makes it look like starlight. Number 12. The Yakushin or Yakut horse is a cold weather horse that adapted to live in the brutal cold of Siberia. They evolved very quickly to grow shaggy manes to help them withstand temperatures of up to negative 70 degrees Fahrenheit. That evolution happened over the course of about 800 years, a blip on the evolutionary timeline. Number 11. The Black Forest Horse is basically a supermodel. Just look at this thing. The dark chestnut coat with the flowing blonde locks is a signature look of this thing. While it doesn't have any special features in terms of its build, it should be enough knowing you're riding the Fabio of horses. Number 10. These are the types of horses you might see a knight in shining armor ride up on. Or you would, except that Kamigu horses are a rarity in that many of them are still wild, running free across Europe. And also, knights don't really ride horses anymore. Number 9. The Bashkir curly horse is a genetic mystery. Its distinctive curly coat makes it almost look like an alpaca or a sheep, but it's clearly a horse, and every single theory trying to trace its lineage has turned out to be wrong. Nobody can figure out what these horses descended from, or why their coat has its distinct curly appearance. Number 8. This is what you get when you crossbreed a Frasian horse with an Appaloosa. Apparently you get the horse equivalent of a Dalmatian. Apparently this colour can be replicated with this crossbreed, so these Dalmatian horses can make other little Dalmatian horses. Number 7. The Conic is a short, stocky horse that fell out of favour quickly once larger, faster breeds became more common. But the government of Poland has worked to maintain the bloodline of this ancient breed as it is native to the country. It is an unusually rectangular build and is short enough to make it a good starter horse for children. Number 6. Halter horses have become the bodybuilders of the horse world. They are a variant of the common quarter horse, except they have bulked up to absurd degrees. What is now considered the ideal version of a halter horse is a ugly, bulked up mess. Looks like it enjoys a diet of protein powder and anabolic steroids in between synthol injections. Number 5. Like the acute horse, Icelandic horses adapted quickly to live in a cold climate with a thick coat of fur. Vikings brought them to the island around the 9th century, and they remain the only breed of horse in Iceland, making them one of the purest horse breeds in the world. Number 4. Considered one of the oldest pure horse breeds in the world, the Norwegian Fjord has been domesticated for over 4,000 years. It's thought that selective breeding of this horse began around 1200 BC with the Vikings who used them as war mounts. The breed is still around today, even after millennia of crossbreeding. Number 3. The Akal Tiki is one of the oldest domesticated horse breeds in the world, and it is also one of the rarest. Its distinct golden colour makes it stand out from other horse breeds, and it exhibits an almost dog-like loyalty to humans. Unlike many horses, the Akal Tiki tends to prefer bonding with one family, or even just one person. They have been considered since an integral part of the family in Russia. An old saying was, if the family horse didn't like the groom, the wedding was off. Number 2. The Falabella has been selectively bred for generations to become one of the smallest horse breeds in the world. Despite the small size, they are reasonably well built and strong. They are today considered an officially recognized original miniature horse breed. All horses must have a direct bloodline to a single horse, the original Falabella of Argentinian origin, to be considered a purebred Falabella. Number 1. 
The Marwari is an Indian horse that has a distinct feature, a set of upturned ears. These are Arabian horses bred with native Indian pony breeds and they are unique to that region of India. They are commonly seen in wedding ceremonies and other major occasions as a ceremonial animal. And due to these strict exporting regulations, there are almost none of these horses outside of India. What? Danger Dawn, did you know that we have a countdown book featuring some of our best scripts on sale now? Links down below for the physical and ebook versions. That is it for this countdown. Have a good one!